Okay, listen to Jesus and how he responds to the disciples and how he's responding to a whole lot of y'all and how he's responded to me before. And when I read this, I felt so convicted. Even though I'm not currently in this position that the disciples were in, I felt so convicted for the times that I did the exact same thing. So in Matthew, there's two different accounts where the disciples are with Jesus and they're with the multitudes and the disciples only have like, they only have five loaves of bread and two fish. And then God is able to multiply that. He tells them to just break it all. And there's so much left over and it feeds 4,000 and 5,000 groups of people, just the little that they had. So then they go on their next adventure and the disciples realize that they didn't bring any bread with them or any fish with them. And so they're thinking this in their head while Jesus is with them. And Jesus makes a comment to them, but he has, he's not talking anything about the bread, about them forgetting it. He's talking about something totally different. But when the disciples hear him say that, then they start thinking in their heads, oh crap. Like, oh, we're not gonna be able to feed the people now because we didn't bring any bread or, or fish with us. And Jesus reads their thoughts and he says, this is the Passion Translation, by the way, but he says, uh, you have such little faith. Why are you arguing with one another about having no bread? He says, are you so slow to understand? Have you forgotten the miracle of feeding the 5,000 families and how each of you ended up with a basket full of fragments and how seven loaves of bread fed 4,000 families with baskets left over? Don't you understand? So the Lord's saying, don't you understand? I hear your thoughts. I hear you saying, well, God, I don't have anything. I don't have anything left. I, I don't have anything that I can use to fix this situation. I don't have any money. I don't have any finances. I can't pay my bills. Do you know the God you serve? Because he'll take nothing and make it into something. He'll take nothing and he'll multiply it. And he'll take the little that you do have, even if it's just faith, and he'll multiply it. God will multiply it. But you know what pleases him? It's your faith that pleases him. So if you come to him with that great faith, he's going to multiply your resources. Even if you have nothing, he's going to multiply it. So fix your focus. Know who your king is and that he's your provider. One of his names means provider. He's going to provide for you. So repent and carry on because he's got you.